Hello everyone, welcome back to Hearthstone, which is apparently actually pronounced Hearthstone, not Hearthstone. Alright, time for arena run number four, let's go. What have we got? Hmm. Okay, Shaman, I just played. I don't really like Overload, I don't know how to use it. I did learn a bit, but I, I, don't, I don't really want to play Shaman. I really don't like Overload, I don't even want to deal with it. Warlocks is strange, it would be fun to play. But... I think I want to go Hunter. Yeah, let's go Hunter. I want to play Hunter again. Alright, Murloc War Leader, hell no, I don't even want to touch Murlocs. It's either Blood Knight or Bestial Wrath. Blood Knight is an extremely good card if there is a single enemy minion with Divine Shield on the board. It becomes a 6-6 for 3, which is amazing. Give a... Alright, Bestial Wrath, give a beast plus 2 attack and immune this turn. Hmm. That could be very, very nice. That could be extremely nice, actually. I think I'm gonna go with that. Raid Leader, don't care for Dark Scale, dark scale Healer. Uh, could be pretty good, especially if you have a lot of minions on the board. Fen Creeper's a decent taunt. Let's go with taunt. Was well, an easy one. Kill Command. If you have a beast on the board, he deals 5 damage. It's either an okay removal spell or a very good one. Depending on whether you have a beast out or not. Uh, Scavenging Hyena. Okay, Nightblade kind of sucks. It's either Silverhand Knight or River Crocolisk. Let's go for the early game. At the moment. Gonna get a 2 coster. Murloc Raider? Nope. Dalaran Mage. Nope. Wind Fury Harpy it is. Animal Companion is a damn good card. Hmm. Okay, not Abusive Sergeants, either Bloodfin, Bloodfin Raptor or Hunter's Mark. <sighs> Hunter's Mark does cost nothing. On the other hand, it takes a card. Obviously, it can be used very nicely. You can use it to, for example, at no cost, take down the health of something absolutely massive and then simply attack it with a really weak creature or ideally something like a elven archer would be perfect. Do this and then play an elven archer. Just do one damage to it and nobody has to touch it, nobody has to take any damage and it dies. However, beasts are very important for a beast centric deck with something like a scavenging hyena and kill command. Hmm. It's kind of hard. Bloodfen Raptor or Hunter's Mark? Uh, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go with Bloodfen Raptor. Hmm. Loot Hoarder's a little bit of card draw. Boulderfist Ogre is a very good heavy hitter. I don't really want the Earthen Ring Farseer. Or do I? I don't know. I mean, it's decent. It can be used to support your other minions very well. Heal them back up, especially a taunt. You know, keep the taunt active. Hmm. Well, at the moment, I don't have any card draws, so let's go with Loot Order. Whoa. Oh, Gladiator's Longbow, yes! Your hero is immune while attacking. It's expensive, but it's damn good. Five damage kills most things, and you don't even take damage while doing it. Hell yes, I will take that. Alright, now I'm gonna go with Hunter's Mark. Misdirection when your character uh, when a character attacks your hero, instead he attacks another random character. Eh, I don't like that. 
And an Emperor Cobra is a beast. Let's go with that. Yeah, I want beasts. Multi-shot. Multi-shot is excellent. Very good removal. Um, I could use another taunt. Explosive Trap is pretty damn good. Scarlet Crusader, also two for one. So what's more important? Taunt, removal, or a good, you typically two for one card? Hmm. Do I need to protect anything? It would be good to have some taunt to protect things like my scavenging hyena, for example, while I'm buffing them up. And if I get a starving buzzard, which there's a pretty good chance I will, I'll certainly need to protect that as well. However, explosive trap is very nice. Hmm. Let's go with ex ah. Eh. I'm gonna go with Explosive Trap. Explosive Shot. Deal 5 damage to a minion and 2 damage to adjacent ones. That's also a very good removal spell. Injured Blade Master, not particularly powerful in this deck. That'd be very nice in a Priest deck. Wild Pyromancer. After you cast a spell, deal 1 damage to all minions. Mm, that's crazy. I think that Wild Pyromancer is a little bit too wild for me. Let's go with Explosive Shot. Okay, I now have shit tons of removal. Give your opponent a mana crystal is the battle cry. No thanks. Misdirection. Don't really like it. Ravenhold Assassin it is. Reasoning Trap. When an enemy minion attacks, return it to its owner's hand and it costs two more. Hmm. Nah. I don't really like secrets for the most part. It's just they could do something very good or they might do something shitty. Like this enemy minion that attacks. It could be an elven archer. So it might be, like, totally pointless. You just have no idea. It could be the most powerful thing, or it could be the weakest thing. It's just up in the air. Alright, more two-costers or a six-coster? Hmm. It's not a beast, though. I already have a solid amount of two-costers. Hmm. It is a good card, though. A fairy Dragon. It's solid. Let's go with Archmate. Uh, no, nah, let's go with... Uh, fairy Dragon. Hard decision. Booty Bay Bodyguard, don't care for. Dread Corsair. Good card if you have a weapon-heavy deck. At the moment, I only have one weapon, and it's an extremely high-cost one, so... And no, let's go with Lord of the Arena. I certainly have high-level taunt, but not low-level. Ooh, Scavenging Hyena. Let's go with that. Alright, I would like a low-level taunt to protect my two hyenas. And more beasts. Hmm, Sea Giant costs one less for each other minion on the battlefield. Big Game Hunter... I think it's gonna be Big Game Hunter or Blood Knight. Big Game Hunter is damn good. Typically two for ones. If there is an enemy minion with an attack of seven or more on the battlefield, you can destroy something huge and have four damage left over. Which will kill quite a few things. As much as the Blood Knight sounds awesome, I'm gonna go with this. Yeah, I mean, the Blood, the Blood Knight and the Big Game Hunter are both very situational guards. However, I think the Big Game Hunter is probably gonna be usable in more situations. Starving Buzzard. I also have, like, no two-costers. I'm gonna hope I'm gonna get some. I really can't pass it up. I need card draw. Okay, Flesh-Eating Ghoul or Senjin Shield Master. I do want Taunt to protect my Scavenging Hyenas and my Buzzard. Let's go with the Taunt. That's gonna be my plan. Protect my Buzzards and my Hyenas. Okay. This sucks. War Golem. Seems like crap. Reckless Rocketeer. Can't really keep it alive. Storm by Commando. Dies very easily. On the other hand, it does have a two damage sort of removal spell, so I guess I will go with that. Pretty good chance of two for one. Unleash the Hounds. Alright, this is a card that they actually changed in the newest patch that came out a couple days ago. 
it used to do something completely different. Now for each enemy minion, summon a 1-1 one, one Hound with Charge. Which could combine amazingly well with my Starving Buzzard. Whenever you summon a beast, draw a card. Yeah, so if you have the Starving Buzzard and unleash the Hounds, you can get some pretty crazy plays. I think I'm going to go with it, just to see how I can use it. I'm really curious to try it out and see how useful it actually is. Hmm. Bloodsail Raider is another weapon-based card. However, even if you don't use the weapon part of it, it's actually still a good card. I mean, it's a 2-3 for 2. That's just good. It's good. Do I need more 5 costers? At 5 costers, I have a Fen Creeper and a Stormpike Commando. Hmm. Do I need more 2 costers? Bloodfin Raptor, Fairy Dragon, Loot Hoarder, River Crocolisk, two Scavenging Hyenas, and a Starving Buzzard. I don't think I do. I'm going to go with Storm by Commando. Beast. Or Tracking. Okay, these are all good picks. Hmm. I, I feel like I want more Beasts, though. I feel like I really want more Beasts. Look at the top three cards of your deck. Draw one and discard the others. That's, that's quite good. It replaces itself, only costs one mana, and gives you some choice as to what you get. I don't really need more two costers unless they're a beast, which is why I kind of want to go with the Direwolf Alpha. It's either tracking or Direwolf Alpha for me. Hmm. Uh. Shit, that's hard. Let's go with Direwolf Alpha. Or gain shot. Decent little removal spell. Acolyte of Pain is card draw. However... Alright, what do I have for card draw? I have a Starving Buzzard. A Loot Hoarder. Is that it? That is all I have. However, removal is very nice. Acolyte of Pain. How reliably could I activate Acolyte of Pain? Not very reliably, given my class. Plus, I don't even have any mad bombers. Let's go with Arcane Shot. Hmm. The Dragonhawk is a beast, but... Eh. Uh, these are actually all pretty good one-costers. I mean, Leopard Gnome's nice. The Argent Squire is pretty nice because it has Divine Shield. Young Dragonhawk would combine well with what I have, but what could I actually get out of it? How can I buff it? I mean, I can't really buff it directly so much as just buff my hy hyena by sacrificing it, which might not be the greatest thing. I could also draw a card if I had my Starving Buzzard out, but I don't want to. I don't want to like over rely on the one Starving Buzzard that I may or may not even get. So. I don't know. Uh, let's just roll with it. Let's go with the beast heavy deck and see what the hell happens. <laughs> I'm not going with the wisp. Oh god, this sucks. Alright, wisp, which is like one of the worst cards ever. Dalaran mage, which is not particularly good for me. And booty bay bodyguard, which is not all that great of a taunt. Hmm. Hmm. I guess taunt? Sure. Why not? Ancient Watcher can't attack. Uh, that could be very powerful. If you have the right buff, like something, for example, that gives a taunt, can become very nice. You could have a 4-5 a taunt for two, which is incredibly good. But you need something like, what's it called? Defender of Argus, which makes adjacent minions have taunt, as well as buffing them up, I think. But I don't have that, so no. Mana Addict, whenever you cast a spell, uh, I don't have a lot of spells, really. Well, maybe I have some. Stampeding Kodo, do I need more 5 costers? Uh, 
what do I have? Booty Bay Bodyguard, Fen Creeper, two Stormpike Commando. I don't need any more five costers, actually. I'm gonna go with Mana Addict. Yeah. Okay. Uh, my card draw almost entirely relies on my one Starving Buzzard, which, thankfully, I have quite a bit of Taunt to protect, but... Hmm. This is, um... I don't know about this. I just don't know. Regardless, though, it should be fun to play around with my beasts. Let's hope this time I don't get... a game that just lags out for like three minutes and then I lose. That sucked. Good day, sir. I don't think it shall. Hmm. I don't want any of this. Please give me something I can use. Please. Three, two, three, two. Oh, that's actually pretty good. Cool. Greetings. Greetings, <sighs> Damn that card to hell. Damn it. That is a job for my fairy dragon, I do believe. Yes. Or my Emperor Cobra, I suppose. Emperor Cobra might be... Well, no, that only does two. Never mind. Fairy Dragon. That way I can kill that thing and still stay alive. I was thinking maybe get the Emperor Cobra out there because it's a beast in the next round I could play a Scavenging Hyena and then maybe sacrifice the Cobra. Ah... <sighs> Well, at least it's dead. Right, well, Scavenging Hyena is, of course, going to die. So let's not play that. In fact, I can't play shit. So I'm going to shoot you in the face. Next turn. I can Emperor Cobra, I suppose. Or Kill Command, which is not a great use of Kill Command. Alright, they've got a lot of cards now. Loot Order. That seems like a better play than Emperor Cobra. Yeah. Let's do that. Mind if I roll Job's done. Ooh, that needs to die. <laughs> oh, thank you for the card. I appreciate it. This needs to die right now. Summoning portals, your minions cost two less. But not less than one. You need to fucking kill that right now or they are going to gain so much power on me it's not even funny. Question is, can I do it? And I believe the answer is no. I can do three. God damn it, I can't kill it this turn. Alright, what do I play instead? That really, really, really sucks. That's going to give them such an advantage. They're going to play some crazy stuff right now. They could play a 7-coster right now. They can play a 7-coster. They could play a Boulder Fist Ogre, although actually that'd be a bad play because I would just kill it with my Emperor Cobra. Hmm. Alright, next turn I could p potentially play the Scavenging Hyena and... Get it buffed. Mm. Are you gonna play it again? Oh my god. Ow. Right, well, this isn't looking too good. The good thing is I have a lot of cards. The bad thing is they have a huge board advantage. What the fuck do I even play? Um... Um, <laughs> explosive shot would not do much. I need to kill that damn thing. I need to. I have to kill it now. Or they're going to wreck my face. F 
fuck. I'm gonna have to sacrifice this scavenging hyena. I needed to do that. It's gonna die, but I needed to do that. I had to get rid of that damn thing. It gives them way too much of an advantage to have it out. If you don't kill that thing early, you just you lose the game. Because they can just flood the board with extremely high cost units. Of course, they're just gonna kill it, but at least it absorbs some damage. <laughs> no, why? Mm. I can't keep anything on the damn board. Fucking hell. <laughs> Lord of the Arena? Five health. What is that gonna protect me from? Not that much. Should I even play it? Okay, well, Explosive Trap will take out five, six, seven points of damage potential. It would kill these two things. So I can play a four coster. Unfortunately, I don't have anything that costs four. Right, well, I'm gonna take uh, seven, eight, nine points of damage, assuming they play nothing, which is pretty unlikely. I've pretty much lost this at this point. I could have played the Mana Addict, but what the hell's the point? Gains two attack this turn, combined with the spell would have given it three, but then it would have just run out next turn. Putting it right back to one. One damage potential, woohoo. I guess maybe they would have ignored it, which could have given me an advantage. Either they would have ignored it, which gives me something on the board, or maybe they would have killed it, which would have absorbed damage. I, I guess I could have. I don't know. Maybe I should have, maybe not. I guess there's not much point in holding on to it, is there? What are you gonna do? Please don't buff it. Fuck. In fact, am I dead? Am I just dead? Oh, no I'm not. I'm almost. Right. Oh, of course. Knife my face, thank you. Right. Big Game Hunter does nothing. Lord of the Arena will protect me from... One hit and then I die. Um... Immunity this turn. That wouldn't work. Well played. Hmm. Not really sure what happened there. Like, did I draft a bad deck? Did I play poorly? Or what? I don't even know. But I did horribly. Really, really bad. I never gained any sort of an advantage. I was always on the defensive. And it just never picked up from there. Let's go again. Once again, as long as I can hit 3 3, I'm happy. If I hit 0 3, I'm not. Man, I'm really not so sure about these beast decks. They sound nice, they sound cool. But it seems like I never have the I never have my stuff do anything. Like, you put a scavenging hyena out and it always just dies. You put a starving buzzard out, and it dies. Let the hunt begin. Mana addict. Do I want to keep that? Eh, sure. It's a two-coster. Ooh. That's actually quite good. That's actually very good. Oh, God, this is good. Greetings, traveler. 
So next turn I can play the Scavenging Hyena and then probably suicide this Dragonhawk into something. Or maybe just kill whatever they have. Such as, for, for example, that. I can just Arcane Shot it. Which is probably the better play, right? Yeah, that is undoubtedly the better play. Alright, I've got two damage in. I think it's safe to say, folks, that I'm going to win this game. Two damage on the first turn. Or second turn. Or that could happen. God damn it. Now my fucking hyena is out there, so I don't get any benefit. <sighs> Once again, hyena never seems to get any sort of traction. Right, well, they're just going to punch the mana addict in the face. Do I just sacrifice it? Is that the... Fine. Have my mana addict. The hell else do I do? I need to have them use up their weapons. See, that's why... That's why if I ever get the chance to play Warrior, I'm going to do it. Because they have so many weapons. And weapons are king in Arena. They're amazing. Because you can just do that. Do you need a and by that, I mean... That. Hmm. This thing needs to die quite quickly. However, kill commanding it is a massive waste. <sighs> it's kind of an awkward, awkward situation. They could probably sacrifice their young priestess against my scavenging hyena. Or they could choose to keep it, but then I'm just going to kill it. You sure you want to go for that? You're... You're going to... You know you're going to buff my hyena, right? Huh. That <laughs> That's what I thought, yeah. You should have gone for the hyena, because now it might go out of control. Maybe. Ooh, I could kill command. Actually, no, why? Just booty bay bodyguard. Protect my investment. For once, I would actually like to get some value out of this Gavaging Hyena. Because it seems to never happen. Good thing I don't have a weapon right now. Or I'd be a very, very sad person. Oh, I see. Well, at least my Hyena is still alive. All right, let's see what we get here. Ooh. That is rather excellent. And if they kill it, it buffs my hyena up even more. <laughs> Which is very, very nice. I'm actually getting some good value out of this. Play as many two-costers as you want. Or, I mean, two healthers, although now they don't have two health. That sucks. Because I have this explosive trap. Ooh. I'm going to get some good damage here. Big Game Hunter is not a good play. Hmm. 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 Alright, well this hyena's gonna die, there's no doubt about that. Explosive trap would not save me. Would not save anything. So I'm gonna do this so I can get past that taunt and just do six more damage. I would say I got pretty damn good value out of that hyena. I dare you to play something that does tons of damage. Please do. I encourage it very heavily. Something with a lot of attack. Be thirsty. 
Oh shit. Oh shit, Frothing Berserker is getting out of control. Those things are nasty. Well. Big Game Hunter is something I absolutely need to keep in my hand because they're probably going to play something very big right about now. An explosive trap would not accomplish anything. No, nope, they're still going to play something big. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. Shit. Okay, how do I play this? Ooh, 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 that's a good play, I think. Three f um It only gains attack, right? Gains attack, not health, yes. Okay. In that case, I'm gonna do this, change your health to one. I'm gonna hit you once, kill you, and then I'm gonna take you out. Yeah, you really don't want those things to get out of control. You really don't. Alright, I dare you to play something big. Please play something big. I really want you to. I've been waiting on this big game hunter. This big game hunter has been waiting. It is excited. It has its gun loaded. <sighs> At least Explosive Trap takes care of that. All right, well, let's see what we get first. Oh, never mind. Sorry, it's a death rattle. That's not going to happen. In that case, here, attack me. Have fun. Our hero powers cancel each other out. I do two damage, and they heal, or they gain two armor. Attack me, and it dies. Attack the loot hoarder, and I get a card. And it dies. That's fine. Charge whatever you want. Especially if they have two hit points. Ooh. Ouch. Hmm. Plays. Oh, if only you had seven attack. Instead, you only have six. I could... Fuck, I can't big game hunter you. Hmm. Thanks, but we're not done yet. Hmm. Do I unleash the hounds? Is there a point? I guess I could remove two damage off the board, but... Uh... Hmm. Alright, let's do it. Okay. This might be a bit dangerous, however... It's a seriously dangerous thing to do what I just did. I'm leaving I'm leaving the Warsong Commander on the board, which is very dangerous. In fact, it's probably stupid. However, what this does mean is that next turn I can instantly kill the Frostwolf Warlord, because this thing has two health. If they use the Warsong Commander against this, it will still be alive and be able to kill the Wars the Frostwolf Warlord. Unless they have something, what do you have? God damn it, I should have Well, actually it wouldn't have made a difference. So never mind. That's not too bad. And it now has eight attack. Isn't that perfect? I've got the beast in my side. I am so glad I held on to you. My beautiful, incredibly large bearded friend. Okay, I can do nine damage next turn, so I do not have lethal. Never mind, that's dead. Alarmo bot. <laughs> Thinks it's adorable. Well played. Thanks, but we're not done yet. Do I kill it?
it doesn't really matter. No, that doesn't make any sense. Yeah, the Alarmal Bot um, swaps a minion with a random one in your hand, which is good because it can be good if you have a very high cost minion in your hand, it'll summon it for free, basically. Or summon it for only... Ouch. It'll summon it for the... Uh... Yeah, it'll be cheaper. However, since they have no cards, it's a total desperation play. They can't do anything with it. And it's not going to summon anything because they have no cards. Right, so we're in top decking wars at this point. And at the moment, it looks like I'm winning. Because I just got a pretty powerful taunt. And they are dead next turn unless they can pull some fancy moves. What have you got? Hmm? Removal? Taunt? GG. Alright, well, 1-1. One, one. At least I might not die with complete disgrace. It's an interesting game. Hunter's a really interesting class. If you can protect those hyenas, they can be pretty damn good. If you can't, they will die. Big game hunter and useless at the beginning. Unleash the hounds, not something you want early for the most part. Yeah, let's do that. Keep the river crocky and the animal companion. Hmm. Not really cards you want early on, however, having my longbow is not a bad thing. That thing is awesome. I guess I'll just turn one river crocolisk. Next turn, I can do nothing. Nothing at all. Well, except Hunter's Mark, but that's probably going to be a waste against anything I would face right now. That's really something you want to save for a very big creature for the most part. And I shall do so. Looks like they don't have anything. Ooh. Excellent. Nice little buff there. Hopefully I can get a Scavenging Hyena. Next turn I can Animal Companion or Kill Command. If they put up a big taunt or something. I'd actually, I guess I couldn't put up a big taunt on three mana. Yeah, Animal Companion is probably the way to go. What have you got? Removal? They're trying to use it on my little, my little alpha. <laughs> I think so, it just sounds adorable, doesn't it? It's like, meow. Hmm. I'm just gonna animal companion. Other friendly minions have plus one attack. Ooh, that's pretty cool. Let's just take care of you. Yeah, that, you're too dangerous. Just in case, they could have a, I don't know, Ysera in their hand, and it could summon it, theoretically. It's pretty unlikely, but don't want to risk it. Let's see, turn, next turn I can kill command. Is someone injured? That needs to die right now. Hmm. I think I'm going to be kill commanding. Whenever a minion is healed, draw a card. That can mean extremely... That's not going to make a difference. Good play, but it's not going to make a difference. I'm still going to kill Command it. Beast power! Hell yeah! Next turn, I can plop a Fen Creeper down. So yeah, the uh, 
That card I just destroyed can be an extremely powerful source of card draw. Hold on, do I... Do I have lethal? 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Oh, I don't quite have it. Damn. Alright, well this is obviously a good play. Removal spell and a card. Holy crap, am I actually going to win on turn 6? Man. My beasts are well... Beasts. The gates are open. Okay, it's not gonna save you. Do you? Uh, GG. Yeah. Well played. A turn six win with my hunter deck. Wow, I didn't expect that. And the strange thing is, I did it without any scavenging hyenas or buzzards. I haven't even seen the freaking buzzard yet. It's... I guess it's flying around above me. Surveying the battlefield, looking for scraps. Alright, I'm feeling pretty good about going at least 3-3. Uh, is this the same priest, or is this a different one? Ooh, my Starving Buzzard! Hmm... Kill Command, I'll keep. Emperor Cobra... Yeah, actually, let's keep it. I can play Starving Buzzard, then Emperor Cobra. Actually, maybe not. Maybe I'll do the Loot Hoarder. Yeah, I'm definitely not playing the Starving Buzzard, because it's just going to die. Hmm. In fact, that will die as well. In fact, everything I have will die except the Emperor Cobra. Not sure if that was the best play. Don't don't know if that was the best play. Nothing I had really worked, but I'm just wondering if I should have saved the coin and just took taken the damage. Maybe. Let's see. Let's kill you and see what I get. Animal companion? Okay. I hope you have nothing that does one damage. I'm gonna play this in the next turn. I'm gonna play the Emperor Cobra, which will give me a card. Or actually, wait, no, that doesn't make any sense. I should play the Animal Companion. Yeah, the, the Animal Companion will be a much better card than this Emperor Cobra, and it'll be a beast as well. Four health, huh? I could just kill you with Kill Command, but then my Starving Buzzer would die to an Imp, which is kind of embarrassing. So, Animal Companion. Maybe I'll be lucky and get a Taunt. Please, 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 uh... Actually, that's not bad. I got a card, and I can kill you. However, now you're gonna die to a fucking imp. <sighs> well, might as well get some damage. Actually, hmm, that's an interesting choice. The imp can choose to either kill my Starving Buzzard, getting rid of my card draw, or kill my 4-1. Starving Buzzard's probably the better play. I have to choose between getting rid of damage potential and card draw potential, and in this case, between 2 and 4, yeah, I'd go with the Starving Buzzard. What can I play next turn? Explosive Trap and Fairy Dragon. My shield for Argus. Or I could kill command, I suppose. Not a bad idea. 
It's not the most efficient use of kill command, but... Man, they must be pretty desperate if they play Defender of Argus without any things to give the buff to. It's not a very good card. If there's nothing to give a buff to. Yeah, it's just killed that thing. Next turn I can play Fen Creeper, protect my stuff. Or an Emperor Cobra and an Explosive Trap, or a Fairy Dragon and an Explosive Trap. Ow. <sighs> well, the board is now cleared and we're even on health. Even on health, exactly. Just get the taunt out there. Well, Ready, shit. Sir. Hmm. Actually, it's not too bad. Or I could arcane shot. Ah, huh, let's see. Okay, I could wipe their board. Play that, play that, buff it up to four. You can kill that and stay alive, and then I can play a Emperor Cobra. Hmm. I should have played the Emperor Cobra where it could have actually gotten the buff from the Direwolf Alpha. That was pretty stupid. Oh well. I'm doing pretty good. Got a card, I mean, uh, a board advantage here, but not a card advantage. They have a card advantage on me. Only one, though. Not a huge advantage. What is that? Is that a heal? You're pointing at yourself. Why are you pointing at yourself? You're making me nervous. Could you please stop? Oh, next turn I can play Ravenhold a, a sat. Holy shit, you're waiting? What are you waiting for? Not quite what was planned. Did they misclick or something? It's weird. All right. Have an 8-5 Ravenholt Assassin. Good luck dealing with that. It has stealth. Engaging TC oh, thank God it didn't get my Ravenholt Assassin. That would have been horrible. It, um, if there's four or more minions on the board, it... Ow. If there's four or more minions on the board, it takes control of a random one. One in four chance that it got could have gotten that. Ooh. Ooh. What's the best way to deal with this? Alright, let's... Let's do this. Let's pound you in the face. Let's kill this. Let's pound you in the face. And end the turn. That way, even if you attack my Ravenhold Assassin with your mind control tech, it will stay alive. Provided you do nothing else. Never mind. Damn you, dwarf! Unfortunately, that's all my heavy hitters, really. Double its health. Why couldn't you double its attack? Please double its attack. I encourage you to. Please? Please, please double its attack or something? No. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Do I Hunter's Mark an Explosive Trap, or do I punch it in the face? No, that wouldn't make any sense. Yeah, I'm going to save my weapon. Alright, when it attacks me, it will die. Do I care yet? Hold on. I'm going to take four damage, so what? No, I'm going to wait. But should I play the fairy dragon? That's the question. 
Hmm. Shit. I'm gonna do this. I actually am gonna use it up. Because otherwise they're just gonna kill what's on my board, probably. This gets me some damage on the board. I don't, I don't know if that was the best play. Maybe. Maybe not. <laughs> Maybe not. <sighs> Holy fuck. Holy fuck. Okay. If it can get buffed twice, I can kill it with Big Game Hunter. Okay. Hmm. I'm gonna play nothing. If it if they want to trigger it by hitting my fairy dragon, go ahead. If I can get them to trigger it twice, I can kill it with my big game hunter, which is what I'm betting on. So they can either go for my fairy dragon which will buff it up a bit, or they can go for me and not do very much damage. I think it has a ton of health, but it has very little attack at the moment. I actually encourage them to buff its attack. Please, please do buff its attack. Okay. That's what I thought. Now... I could kill you. I could kill you. I could buff it with Explosive Shot and then kill it with Big Game Hunter. But do I want to? It's either that or Weather the Storm with a Taunt. Hmm. Do I save the Explosive Shot for when they play other stuff? Hmm. I think I should. Ah, uh, get behind me. I'm going to assume that they're going. I'm going to wait for them to kind of overextend because I have a lot of I have a lot of damage potential here, and yeah, I want I want them to play a bunch of stuff and then I want to blow. Oh shit! Actually, that's fine. It can do five damage. So what? And my old play is still completely valid. Hmm. <sighs> is it time to kill it? I think it is. Ah, I, I gotta have creatures though. I want to kill them with explosive shot. I really, really do. Do I take the da- I mean, it's only five damage. I can take it. I, I'm gonna bait this out of him. I'm gonna bait it out of him. You can go for me, in which case you can only do 5 damage, which is not nearly enough to kill me, or you can go for my Mana Addict, which will waste your attack on it, and buff you up to the point where I can kill you with Big Game Hunter. At this point, this person's gotta be getting paranoid. Yes! <laughs> They're probably wondering, what am I doing? Why am I holding on to these cards? And this is why. I've been waiting for that. Yes, please play something else, because I can explosive shot it. See? Yes. Play, play more. Please, play more. Damn it! Ah. Oh. Lord of the Arena. Let's play that a bit later. And that's why I was holding onto my cards. Unfortunately, they definitely still have a card advantage. Please don't have something huge. Please, please don't have something like Ysera or, or something. <sighs> oh no, no, don't. Oh. <laughs> Using a mind control on my big game hunter? That's a desperation play.
Hmm. I could just taunt the hell up. Here. Get through my Lord of the Arena. Or should I put my Senjin's Shield Master up? Ah, let's do Lord of the Arena. If you attack my Lord of the Arena, you are dead next turn. Unless you can kill it, or put a taunt up or something. If you attack me, you are dead. Basically, the explosive trap will kill you. Actually, wait. Oh, that's right, you just healed. Well, actually, I could still attack you with the Lord of the Arena and then hero power to kill you. This is, um... Ooh. Ooh. Shit. Alright, this is an interesting game. Very interesting game. Huh. I have four damage potential. Next turn, assuming they kill my Senjin Shield Mass. Fuck. This is not looking good. It's, this is looking very, very bad. Oh, great. Ah, great. And they're going to heal themselves, of course. God damn it. God damn it. They have so many cards. Oh my fucking god. Right. Um. I need something now. I don't think that's gonna help. Okay, so, hold on, how much damage can they do? 13. I wonder. At least the hounds would be pointless. The best I can hope for is that they have so many creatures. The best I can hope for is that those are both creatures, they play them both. Thank you, yes, please be another creature. Please be another creature. Please, please, I need the, I need the charge. I need the charge. Please? Unleash the hounds will give me three damage. Ooh. Ooh, explosive trap hurts them too. I think I might have this. Holy shit, I think I might have this. Thanks to Unleash the Hounds. Oh, holy shit. <laughs> oh. Oh my god, that was close. Holy crap. That was really, really close. That was a fun game. That was intense. Well, I have now achieved three. I'm happy. Even if I lose every game from here on out, I'm happy. Ooh. That was a long game. Storm by Commandos, no thanks. Kill Command. Uh, yeah, I'll keep that. Yeah, I'll keep him. Ooh, not bad. Not bad at all. That's obnoxious. If I play a Dire Wolf Alpha, I'm just gonna die. But if I don't, what am I gonna do? If I don't play it, I don't really have a better play. Greetings, traveler. Yeah, they're probably just gonna kill it. Which is gonna be a one for one removal. Actually, no, it's actually quite bad, because theirs cost one, mine cost two. And they're going to do two damage to me because the death rattle is deal two damage to the enemy hero. So, yep. 
but if I didn't play, what the hell was I gonna play? Play the scavenging hyena, which was going to die too? Coin the kill command? It's a bit extreme. I guess the scavenging hyena? It's a pretty shitty play. It's just gonna die. What's the point? No. I'm not gonna play it. It's just gonna die. Yeah, I'm not sure if I should have coined that. I don't know. Leper Gnome is gonna mess up my face, though. What was I to do? Yeah, see, they would have just sacrificed that into my scavenging hyena. A one-cost card to kill my hyena. It's just, yeah, it wouldn't have been good. I'm glad I didn't play it. Hmm. That plus scavenging hyena might not be bad at some point. I'm thinking Explosive Trap. Is there really enough on the board to justify an Explosive Trap, though? I don't think there is. I'm gonna wait. Let them fill up their board a bit. Yeah, summon more things with two health. There we go. Let them burn a bunch of cards, and I will kill almost everything. Except this. The damn Sun Fury Protector with three hit points. Next turn, I can summon a Booty Bay Bodyguard or a Senjin's Shield Master, I guess. Or I could do a Starving Buzzard and a Hyena. That's gonna hurt. Ouch. That's 8 damage potential. I really want to get rid of that, like, now. Hmm. Bloodfin Raptor. Okay, well, I could Starving Buzzard... No, I can't summon all three of them. Shit. I think Senjin Shieldmaster is the way to go. Kill Command seems kind of over the top. Yeah, at least it will take both of them to kill it, unless they have some sort of a way to do damage to my taunt, which is pretty likely. They only need to do one point of damage to be able to remove it with their Sun Fury Protector, and then they could hit me in the face with a Dark Iron Dwarf for four. If only I had another AoE, like a Multi-Shot, for example, which is in my deck somewhere. The gates are open. Ah, shit. Well, might be cool commanding that. Alright, so, what would be the best way to do this? Hmm. If I want to kill that, I need a beast on the field. What do I put, a starving buzzard? Yeah, let's put you on the field, and then let's kill you. And then hit him in the face. And hopefully next turn, hopefully, if this Starving Buzzard stays alive, I can play a Bloodfen Raptor and a Scavenging Hyena, getting two cards to replace the two that I just played. Four, five, six, seven. That'll leave me with three mana, which I can use to play either a Mana Addict, which wouldn't be... <sighs> See? Starving Buzzard. When does it ever get to do anything? Almost never. At least they overloaded, so that kind of puts them at a disadvantage in the future. Kill it with the Sun for your Protector, and then use the Dark Iron Dwarf to hit me in the face. Come on, I know you want to. Okay.
<laughs> I, I kind of want to just gladiator longbow. Or I could booty bay bodyguard and put out a beast. Go ahead and do that. It's probably just going to die to the Dark Iron Dwarf, which would be quite a very good trade for them, because mine cost 5 and their cost 4. And it's damaged. However, that should leave my Bloodfen Raptor alive, unless they want to sacrifice their Dragonhawk and their Searing Totem. Draw a card. That card costs 3 less. Ooh, that could be nasty for me. I wish I had AoE right about now. Jesus Christ, do I wish I had AoE. Are they going to sacrifice what they, ha they are? Oh, attack me once and then attack... Yeah. Or Wait, what? Uh, that was a mistake, wasn't it? You meant to kill my Bloodven Raptor? I Maybe that wasn't a mistake. Hmm. Anyway. Let's see, two... I could buff this thing up to a 4-3, but then it's just gonna die. <sighs> or is it? Hold on, F seven? No, it is gonna die. Shit. Right, let's get rid of you. Now what? Here we go. Things! Attack my things. I hope that wasn't a terrible, terrible idea. I could even Hunter's Mark, which would get me three damage with this thing. Oh, never mind. It did. Man, they have a big board. And I have no AoEs, really, at the moment. I don't even know if I have any AoEs in my deck. Sort of. Not, not huge ones, not board AoEs, but ones that affect like three at one time. <sighs> Got a Dragonhawk of my own. I'm thinking Gladiator's Longbow. And just take out that Stampeding Kodo. I hunt alone. Hunter's Mark would not be a good play right now. I could use that to take out some massive beast that they might play. Scavenging Hyena would once again just die. Dragonhawk would also just die. Is there any point in playing it? Not really. It would accomplish basically nothing. At least if the Scavenging Hyena is out at the same time, it might be able to be buffed. Actually, no, it definitely would be buffed by the young Dragonhawk dying. Ooh. That's actually quite bad. It means I can't use my weapon, right? I'm pretty sure that's what that means. Right. I do believe I'm dead next turn if I can't do something to stop this. Yes, I am. I am most certainly dead next turn. Then I can't attack with my fucking weapon. Right? Ooh, hold on. I can't attack. Okay, this is gonna get me a lot. Holy shit. Holy shit. Okay. I can make one hell of a scavenging hyena. However, it's not gonna have taunt. So I need to remove their stuff from the board. It doesn't matter how much I buff this if they can just kill me. So. Holy shit, this is gonna be weird. Okay. <laughs> this is gonna be fun! Holy shit.
Okay. I'm gonna buff this thing up. Okay, three against that? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you! This is one hell of a scavenging hyena. Holy shit! <laughs> Look at that scavenging hyena! What have I made? I was I was complaining about never getting any real value out of the scavenging hyenas and the starving buzzards because they die too soon, but holy crap! <laughs> oh my god. I think they're hoping for a taunt there. They don't have a taunt, do they? <laughs> oh my god! Scavenging Hyena! You carried the game! Look, that's a 16-5! Oh my god! Well played. Well played. Thank you. <laughs> I did not expect that just as much as you didn't. Holy crap, I can't believe... Oh man, the combinations you can get with that card are just mind-boggling. Oh my god. I thought I was for sure going to lose that, but... Oh! That was a very, very exciting match. Damn. 4-1. Can I get to 12? 12 wins the max? Um, probably not. But I'm gonna keep going. <laughs> I still can't believe that. That was amazing. What a beautiful hyena. What a majestic creature. Rexa versus Anduin. The light shall bring victory. Let the hunt begin. That's actually a very good start. I'm going to stick with that. Some early removal, some early card draw, animal companion, fairy dragon. Very nice. Greetings, Greetings friend. Traveler. Greetings. Should I get the fairy dragon out? I think I shall. Next turn, I can either loot order or remove a creature that they put on the board, potentially. If it doesn't have three hit points. I dare you, put out a 3-2. Never mind. So much for that. Well, that's a straight trade. <sighs> Not really much to do about it, is there? Next turn, I can Animal Companion. Or Arcane Shot and Hero Power. Hmm. There's my Unleash the Hounds card, which I now have a newfound respect for. Emperor Cobra. It's best against very powerful units because it can kill anything. I could just Arcane Shot. Arcane Shot and Hero Power? Eh. I don't know. And then what can I play next turn? I can't really play anything next turn. I'm not going to be playing Unleash the Hounds. Let's just Animal Companion. Oh, quite nice. Very nice, actually. I mean, yeah, the Animal Companion cards are just really good. That's a 4-4 four, four with Taunt for 3. That's a great, that's a great value. Still can't believe that play. Unleash the Hounds turned around the entire game. That was amazing.
Ooh, multi-shot would be quite nice, wouldn't it? It would. In fact, it's so nice, I think I'm going to do it. Unless there's a better play. I could alternatively use that on that, and then kill, a, kill the Acolyte of Pain with that, which would allow me to summon the Emperor Cobra. Is that a better play? Maybe. I think it is. Yeah, it gives me more stuff on the board. Although, unfortunately, I didn't do any damage to them, which I would have if I multi-shotted, but I think I can get better value out of this multi-shot later on. Which can be a dangerous mindset to get into, because if you're always trying to maximize the value you get out of a card, you will never play it. Oh. Screw you, too. Ow. That kind of hurt. Hmm. Just Fen Creeper? I'm certainly not going to multi shot. Yeah, I guess Fen Creeper. Just going to kill off my Misha, I guess. That wild Pyromancer is pretty damn wild, isn't he? Don't think I ever learned to stop, drop, and roll. Ow. Oh, Win Fury Harpy time, I think. Yeah, it's really the only thing I can play that's a actual creature. That's eight damage potential right there. If only I had a direwolf alpha, it could become 10. Oh, fuck you. Fuck you, you goddamn owl prick. I hate you. I mean, his attack is always equal to its health. Hmm. It just so happens I have a beast. Okay. I could multi-shot. Five, six, seven. Hmm. I could multi-shot and kill command. Or... Or what? What's the best play here? Hmm. Fuck. I can't decide. I'm gonna do this. There's a lot of different things I could have done there. But that way I didn't use up too many cards. And I also did a decent amount of damage. And I still have 4 damage potential behind this taunt. Which, of course, is just probably going to kill with an Ironbeak Owl or some other piddly little thing that does 1 damage. Like an Elven Archer, for example. Hmm. It's kind of a bad card, but at the moment it has a lot of health. Okay, well, I could just kill Command it and then f smash it in the face. Which is probably what I should do, right? Unfortunately, I don't have any creatures. Except for the Starving Buzzard, which I'm certainly not going to play right now. I yeah. Let's go ahead and do that. I hunt alone. Yeah, I have a lot of removal. Well, maybe not that much removal, but I have a lot of spells. Two removal sort of things, and a spell, and a starving buzzard, which at the moment is useless, pretty much. I dare you, play two creatures, both with three health. I got the best deal anywhere. That's not three health, that's inconvenient for me. For Argus. 
That is definitely not three health. That is, though. Hmm, taunt. Alright. Alright. Ooh, ooh! Hold on. Eight. Fuck, I think I'm one mana short of this. Hold on. Unleash the hounds. Starving buzzard, unleash the hounds. Do two damage to that and then multi shot. Fuck! If I had one more mana, I could do an amazing play. And get tons of cards. Maybe I should do it anyway. Hmm. Hmm. What the hell am I doing? Well, I totally fucked that up. What the hell was I thinking? I don't know. It was a really cool play I had in mind, but I was one mana short, and then I just totally fucked up at the end. What did I even do? I, uh, I had something there with the Unleash the Hounds. I, anyway, that doesn't cost me the game. I can get a card draw here. Which is precisely what I should do. Hmm. Plus two attack and immune this turn. Well, isn't that perfect? Oh, wait a minute. Oh, give a beast. Ah, oh, goddammit. And that was a major misplay what I did there. Ugh. Oh, I just realized this bestial wrath can make this young dragonhawk do three damage, which with Wind Fury will be six. Six, seven, eight. If these two are left alive and I can attack him, I can kill him with these two and Beast Your Wrath and my Steady Shot. Well, so much for that. We must cleanse the sun well. Great. I think I'm going to be tanking some hits. The good thing is I have the health to do it and I have quite a card advantage. Ooh. <laughs> it's going to be hard for them to play around that. That's nearly lethal and it's in stealth. I could unleash the hounds, which would allow me to do four damage. Nah. Let's just Ravenhold Assassin and Explosive Trap. Yeah, good luck dealing with that. Goodbye, Shattered Sun Cleric. Or cleric, 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 not sure how to pronounce it. That hurts you, which means you do less damage. Unless you have a heal. Ah, uh, another one. You're just gonna heal it, aren't you? Wait, wait, what? Why didn't... Why didn't you heal the light spawn? Hmm. Unfortunately, you're not a beast. Hold, oh, wait a minute, I have lethal, don't I? Seven? Um, two, three, four, seven and four. I have lethal. Yeah. Unleash the hounds. Beast your wrath. Whew.
I have to say, I'm finding that Unleash the Hounds card incredibly useful. I thought, I thought the changes they had made to it might have made it very, I don't know, just, you know, too situational to be useful, but that's now twice in a row I found it extremely useful. I can't believe I'm actually 5-1. I'm amazed. Five one, wow. After the first game I played, I was seriously expecting to maybe go like one or two, three. I really wasn't expecting to even get to three wins. Hunter's Mark. I eh, don't really want that at the beginning too much. Let's keep the others. Alright, not bad. A little bit early for multi-shot. Greetings, traveler. <laughs> Greetings. Probably play probably play the fairy dragon next turn. Actually, they don't trade very well with that, because they could just suicide their Murloc Tidehunter into it and still have the 1-1 one, one left. So, I'm going to play this instead. Next turn. I can play one of these. Oh, thank you for the card. <laughs> oh, I got the Hunter's Mark back. Lovely. I almost want to sit here and take the damage. I mean, they can still suicide the Morlock Tidehunter into any one of these beasts. I'm gonna wait. It's a bit of a dangerous game, because they have five damage on the board, but... I could multi-shot next turn? I don't I just... I know it's a waste to play stuff. Total waste. So I'm gonna bank on playing a lot of weak creatures later. And if that doesn't pan out, I'm dead. <laughs> Lord of the Arena. Perfect. I suppose I could always unleash the hounds. That's dumb right now. Let's go ahead and multi-shot. Excellent. That's actually the best possible result. Fortunately, that damn golem spawns a little underling. At least I have a card advantage. However, a card advantage doesn't... Oh my god. Doesn't matter when you're dead. I'm almost at half health already. This is not good. Beast your wrath and unleash the hounds. Maybe. Maybe. In fact, I'm gonna go ahead and say yeah. I think now's the time. I need to get this damage off the board. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to change your health to one. Do I want to use Beast Show Wrath or just clear it? I'm just going to clear it. Right, well at the moment, I now that I've used all those cards, I don't have a card advantage and I have a massive health disadvantage. Uh, I'm not in a good place. Oh, great. They're just gonna punch my little Dragonhawk. Ripping pieces, Dragonhawk. Ripping all the pieces. Alright. I see you, you're a Wrathy Weapon Smith, and I raise you a Lord of the Arena. Which they can remove at the moment if they attack it with the weapon and the Weapon Smith. But they would take six damage in doing so. Which is probably something I would do. Yeah, I would totally do that. Because you can clear that out and, st yeah, still have mana left to uh, play something. Which is precisely what they're going to do. Hmm. That's not a very good card. I 
I really want a starving buzzard. Really, really want a starving buzzard. Hmm. I hear you got a problem. I do have a problem. The problem is I'm gonna die. Can you do anything about that, Raven old assassin? Nope, I don't think you can. Well, I'm gonna have to pull something out of the bag, and I don't think it's gonna happen. Hmm. Well, I mean, I'm not gonna be dead this turn, but... Oh boy. Actually, wait, 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 I think I am. Well... Maybe not? I need to play everything, because I'm about to die. Fuck. Use, use seven damage with the Ravenhold Assassin just to take out his divine shield. I'm going to weather the storm, because if I use it 7 damage on that Divine Shield, there's like no way I'm going to win the game. Why is my mana addicts hanging out over here? What are you doing? You're supposed to be in my... No, it wasn't well played. Not from my perspective, I mean. But yeah, I think it was too conservative with playing my cards. There would have been horrible trades, though, but... Well, you saw what happened. Don't play your stuff, and you die. Still, 5-2, still doing pretty good. I like the music. I don't want the Storm Pie Command or the Wind for your Harpy. I will keep those though. Hmm. Not horrible. Not great. Should I put my Crocky out? I love you so much, little Crocky. You're so pretty. I just want to stroke you. Although you'd probably bite off my hand. Greetings, traveler. It's a mana worm. Damn you, worm. Can't even kill it. With my river cro crocolisk, I mean. Yeah, that thing's quickly gonna go out of control. Please don't cast a spell. Please don't have a two-cost removal spell. Do mages even have a two-cost removal spell that would do three damage? I don't know if they do. Ooh. Oh. Okay. Well, at least it didn't kill it. Hmm. This is awkward. Well, Hyena is not the right play. Explosive Trap might not be the right play. Do I wait for multi-shot? I'm gonna wait. This is kind of dangerous, but I'm gonna wait for multi-shot. Once again, I'm withholding my cards, but if I play the Explosive Trap, I kill one, and the other's left alive. That's not good. Oh, 
Okay, I could explosive trap and arcane shot. Which is what I'll do. Uh, wait, wait, what the f- Wait, what did I just do? I thought- What? What just happened? I tried to play my explosive trap? What did I do instead? Did I accidentally hero power, or- I'm so confused. Oh. Yeah. It did- what the hell? Wow, that totally bugged out. What the fuck? <laughs> this is really bugging out. I did play it. It shows I played it over here and it just activated. That's really weird. Look at this multi shot. Doesn't even have the proper border to show that I can use it. Doesn't have a green border. This game's bugging out right now. It is in beta. Keep that in mind. It is most certainly in beta. I won. Next turn, I could Fen Creeper. Or multi shot, depending on what happens. What to do? What to do? Ah, uh, get behind me. If only they had three hit points. Well, if I could kill one. Hmm. Should I Hunter's Mark or should I Fen Creeper? Let's, um, let's do that, and do that, and do that. Alright, I've got a decent play next turn, Fen Creeper. The gates are open. Well, I see it's going to be Fen Creeper versus Lord of the Arena. Oh, if only you had one more attack, you... You... It's too bad you're not a beast, because I could use Bestial Wrath on you and then Big Game Hunter, and that'd be pretty damn funny. <laughs> Can I use it on you? No. Damn you. I don't really have any other play here, do I? Nope. That would be hilarious, wouldn't it? Buff the... I've actually seen that happen before. I've seen people buff the enemy's minions to use Big Game Hunter. It's pretty funny. It's infuriating. I wonder. Damn. Card advantage. Well, maybe not a card advantage, but they have a lot of cards. Not good. Because I'm going to have nothing on the board. Why did you do that? You could have killed it and then shot me. That was weird. Right. Keep putting up taunts, I guess. The hell else do I do? If anything else just dies. This is not good. They're just plowing through my taunts and I'm not gonna keep... I'm gonna run out. Yeah, this is not looking good. They have more cards, they have more board. They even have one more hit point. Oh my god. I'm screwed. I'm so screwed. They're probably gonna sacrifice their... Azure Drake, and then use the six of the Lord of the Arena to punch me in the face. 
Which I will have no defense to. Please buff, please bluff, buff your lord of the arena. Or you could just ignore it. They're gonna rush me down. Which is probably a good play. At this point, almost one pyroblast would kill me. Okay. I kind of need to wipe their board. How do I do this? How do I do this? Kill command you, attack you. That would leave him alive, which is nice. Do I play the scavenging hyena? It's just gonna die to the damn owl. Let's hope they ignore it. Would they ignore it? I don't think they would. I gotta give something on the get something on the board though. At this point, I'm at I'm at the extremely low end. Like, I, I'm hoping they don't sacrifice the Iron Beak L for it, and I can beat Shulrath it and remove something. Maybe. Please. Please don't kill it. Please, you're gonna kill it. Fuck. <sighs> yep. You don't have a... Oh, you have double fireball. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Lost a double fireball. Well, 5-3, I'm damn happy with that. I'm especially happy with my Unleash the Hounds massive hyena play. That was that was hilarious. That was awesome. So let's see what the with the restructured rewards from the new patch. Let's see what I get for five wins. Flame Imp? Woohoo! Hmm. That's actually pretty good. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's decent. Because when I... Before the patch, when I finished 4-3, I got, like, almost no gold whatsoever. So just one above that, and I've got 55 plus a card. Plus a card pack. Actually, if you look at the value here, this is actually... Um, it's actually very good value because uh, purchasing a purchasing a pack costs 100 gold. So this pack here is essentially worth 100, and it costs 150 to get into the arena. So if you look at the value of everything, you have 100 here, 55 here, and then whatever the hell you'd value a flame imp at, a flame imp at. So overall, it's actually worth more than what you uh, the value of everything here. Slightly more, not that much, but it's something. Open the back. Ooh, Bane of Doom. What the hell is that? I've never even heard of that card. And deal two damage to a character. If that kills it, summon a random demon. Hmm. For five cost. When it says summon a random demon, does that mean summon it to the board? As in, don't draw it, but summon it? It does mean summon. Ooh. So it's a removal spell, and you get something on the board. That could be very nice. Whoa! Force of nature! Two epics. Druid, summon three 2-2 two -two treants with charge that die at the end of the turn. Two epics and a rare. That's pretty damn good. Alright. Well, I hope you enjoyed... Arena run number four, and I will be back soon with arena run number five.